What's going on you fam? Ryudin here. So, as you may know by now, the blue boy over here finally got his platinum equipment. As you may know, a lot of um, Legends Limited units are entitled to a platinum equip that they get a couple months after the release. Uh, not sure if it's consistent between all of them, but it's been a couple months since this guy has come out and his platinum equip is finally released. So I figured, why not run a team with him to see what he's able to do with it. Now, usually the platinum equip is intended to sort of, um, you know, really make the strong points of a unit continue to shine. But this Goku here, he, he really has no weaknesses. So uh, in terms of what they could buff, they they kind of went a little bit plain here. They kind of just increased his health so he survives a little longer because he is a crisis unit. So when he's the last guy left, you probably want him to be as tanky as possible. So increase his health, blast oriented, so raise blast damage and... The Lineage of Evil buff makes sense because he faced against full power of Frieza when you finished him off at this moment, so I guess that's what's there. Eh, I, I don't really know if it's planned or not, um, but I don't know. I guess we'll go see what this unit is capable of doing. So in terms of the team I'm going to be rocking him with, it's going to be this team here. Yes, someone's going to say, why is Nappa there? And I'm going to say because he's a huge staple on all Saiyan teams. The best units in the game are Saiyans, and if you have someone that gives the opponent significant debuffs, you big buffs and key you would run him too aka i'm telling you to run nappa on all your saiyan teams and we have best green boy over here i'm so excited for when this dude gets a platinum equipment naturally because he is a nuker i'm willing to bet that they're probably going to give him equipment that buff up his special move so it's probably going to be something like this boy here i don't know if many of you guys remember but this guy right here provides his ultimate damage buffs and special move buffs and for a nuker that's pretty good i would imagine that he's probably going to get something like i don't know uh maybe increased blast attack ultimate damage or special move damage and maybe i don't know his third slot could be anything maybe additional damage to regen because he fought kid boo who really knows all i know is i cannot wait for when he gets it and i cannot wait for the awakening either so that's another thing to remember when you're farming this dude's equip don't go super crazy for a z tier equip because all the platinum equips always awaken to something even better so focus on farming that don't for, uh, focus on farming the space form unit but enough about that let's jump into some pvp Louder. Alright, here we go. Match number one going up against Chip running a full Fusion Warriors team. This is going to be fun. Super Vegito against Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Who's going to win? Super Saiyan 3 Goku, of course. Come on, guys. Alright, so we're going to start out with the good old Nappa. Probably wondering why. Well, guess what? Because everybody gets a buff. It's going to be awesome. And most people like to swap out to another unit if you use the unit with type advantage. So... Take that to your advantage. It's going to be great. Um, you could, if you really wanted, run uh, Super Saiyan Bardock as opposed to Super Saiyan 3 Goku. But one, why would you Why would you want Super Saiyan 1 over Super Saiyan 3? And two, you're going to have to deal with having two blues. So I'll tell you to use it under your own discretion. Had a feeling. You like to wait, so... I'm gonna take advantage of that fact. This is some awesome damage. Oh, I tapped. I was getting greedy because I wanted to uh, I wanted to combine the green and blue card together, but I get the feeling I may have gotten myself killed. Nice, nice, nice. Actually, I kind of don't want to see your face. I don't like this dude because of his faint. Out of the way. There we go. I wanted to drop that combo. I do not have time to to uh, do any combos. Go straight for it. So Super Vegito is out of the way. That additional 8% special move or ultimate damage rather is more than enough to help us take... What? That's a shame. Oh crap, I wanted to switch out, but unfortunately, I had the Nappa selected at the same time. Oh well, if he ends up killing him, it's not the worst thing in the world, since this is supposed to be a Super Saiyan Goku showcase. 
Nice little blast damage. Look at his HP. Holy crap. I'm gonna get rid of him again, because I don't want to see his face. Alright, you wanted to transform? Me too. I think I took too long with uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So, we can just go ahead with this. He's out of the way, gonna go to Nappa. Get out of the way of that. And then, would you like to bring Gotenks? Aha! Ah, uh, if only I saved my ultimate for this. Truly, he's meant for you to do a combo or whatever with him. And, oh, He's truly meant for you to do a combo or whatever with him, and then your opponent swaps out to someone, and then you nuke him. You're like, alright, the perfect opportunity, bop, 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 bop. But, I wasn't using him right in this match. I'll do a better job next round. Alright, here we go, match number two, going up against John, running his Sun Family team with the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I'm jealous that he has his at 3 stars. I try to get mine at 3 stars, but it seems like uh, the game just, the game knew. It's like, what's that? That's your favorite unit? We're not letting you get another one. Ah, uh, rather disappointing. Uh, I feel like for every Legends Limited unit, when their Platinum equipment drops, they're gonna do this weird ticket uh, banner thing. It's a little disappointing that it's uh, locked behind tickets that you gotta buy, but the, I guess the, <laughs> that's just gonna be their their formula for getting the unit. So I guess I guess maybe don't. I don't know. Uh, it, eh. It is what it is. I'm just really looking forward to the Platinum Equipment for Super Saiyan 3 Goku right now. We're almost there. Alrighty. Oh, you're not quick enough. But that's okay. I'm gonna keep him in because he does more damage the longer he's in. And showing what he's capable of doing against I was a little late on that one. But I'm gonna go ahead with this. Then we'll transform so I can get more key. Oh! He did the same attack and took my key away. Uh, let's just keep charging up. I think he has another one, but he's just kind of waiting for me to do an attack. Gotcha there. Now what is he gonna do? Oh. Alright. I kind of want him to use his uh, cover change right now with the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And because I screwed up that charge step, I'm not going to get that. I wonder if he's itching for a Rising Rush right now. He probably is. That Goku's doing a pretty good amount of damage. That's not bad. Oh. I was just a, just a second too slow, friend. Ah, oh. yeah, you had a green card. I knew you did, friend. Oh, go ten. Oh, we'll go ahead with the rising on this one here. Wow, look at that variety. Nothing more than a bunch of blast cards. The crazy thing is, is this Goku is not even at full power. He's a crisis unit, and he's doing, he's basically single handedly taking on the team. Once the dude is at uh, the last stand, he's at the last stand unit, he just does a stupid amount of damage. Yeah, blast armor? Uh. Oh, we died! Alright, well, I guess it's my turn to do this. We'll go ahead and do as much damage as we possibly can. I purposely held that for longer. And then we'll go finish this one out. Man, Goku, uh, Namek Goku is just such a beast. I don't think we're ever going to see another Legends Limited unit on that level of uh, craziness. Because it, it, it always seems like they make these, I don't want to say mistakes, 
but they, they realized a little too late that they made a unit way too good. Kind of like Super Saiyan Bardock, we have never seen another unit do what Bardock has done. We're never going to see another unit do what Namek Goku can do for a long time. The Crisis Unit, Infinite Countering, Vanish Gauge Restoring, Increased Damage Dealing, Destructo Beast. We're not going to see a duplicate of this dude for a while, and that's probably a good thing. Let's jump into match number three. Alright, here we go. Third and final match of the video, going up against Rocha, who is running a movie saga team. Good old Bojack. Good old Menace. Um, I wonder if he's going to bring the yellow Bojack. I don't I don't think so, but we're definitely going to see that green cooler. He knows for a fact that I'm going to bring the Namek Goku. It's uh, kind of a given. So he's going to bring him. Definitely the Bojack, because that dude's cover changes OP, and he'll be able to even counter Go uh, Spirit Bomb Goku's ultimate, and maybe he wants to bring a yellow just to serve as a counter to the Nappa, who is a god tier support, might I add. Finally got him the four stars, but yeah, maybe he wants to counter him, because usually when you see a support unit on a team, it's almost a given that they're always going to be run, and he didn't bring him, but he brought Broly. There we go. I'm hoping I can get him to change. Man. There we go. So he's changed. Now I'm going to swap out to you. That's odd. Uh, that's okay. I don't know if I want to switch just yet. I'm gonna do this. Should it was it enough to restore the vanish? Oh, well, apparently it worked out. All right, we're just gonna take it. It's back up so I can get vanish. There we go. He's more than likely going to bring Bojack, so let's just wait. Oh, I didn't wait long enough. It seems. Oh, jeez, you came to me, friend. I just. Yeah, that's silly. Oh, I think we got there. Oh, I thought we got there first. Hmm, that's fine. This Goku can also tank quite a bit of hits. There we go. There we go. Would you like to sw swap out? There you go. Thank you for buffing up my ultimate damage, friend. Let's go. This should do a substantial amount of damage, and I have my favorite combo together, the green and blue card in case he lives. Oh, I was hoping he'd go for a blast card. Alright, well, we'll tank this one as well. Eh, now nah, we'll swap out to you, because I want him to want to swap out. Oh, I was too late. There he is. Thank you again for giving me... Alright. I'm just gonna throw it in there. Alrighty. Oh, that sucks. Oh. We got lucky. Alright, I guess he really wanted to save Bojack. I was too late there, but still finished it out. Yeah, so Platinum Equip, uh, it does provide some nice buffs, but there's there's sort of, there's better equips for the third slot, realistically speaking. But I, I guess it's a good thing, because he was already a super dominant unit. He didn't really need a Platinum Equip to help him anywhere. Certainly not like Beerus, so... Uh, overall, it's a good equip, but the really frightening thing is seeing what it can do once it's awakened. Um, awakened equips are platinum, especially, are the spooky ones, so we'll have to see what comes through. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, peace.